subscribe to tech to tricks and click the bell icon to get notified on the latest tech videos this is the best room i've ever tested on the eureka plus by the words the best means a bunch of features included in it with a lot of customizations and android 7.1 running on top of it sir so yeah in this video let us check out how we can install the aosp extended Android 7.1.1 Roam on the Eureka Plus. What is up, guys? This is your host Raymond Raj, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Breaks. Hope that you guys are familiar with my Tech tutorials. With that being said, let's jump right into the tutorial. So guys first things first go and click the link in the description you'll be redirected to this page so this is the page where you can download the AOSP extended roam so you need to simply scroll down once you reach this page and find out the latest version that is version 4.6 right now so click on the download button and you'll be redirected to this page so click on download now and it will be setting up the best mirrors that are available for you so set up your primary mirror and download the room immediately. Once you're done, you can place the room in your SD card. So starting up, the prerequisites of this tutorial are a TWRP pre-installed on the Eureka Plus. So to boot up into the TWRP, you need to hold down the volume up key and the volume down key and the power key simultaneously so that your phone boots into the team in TWRP. So once you are into the TeamWin TWRP, you can simply tap on the wipe and select up the Dalvi Cache and the Cache and the data and a swipe to wipe. So once you are done, you need to simply place the ROM in SD card. So you can also place the same thing in OTG or else in your internal storage. So I have selected up the SD card. So there you go, the ROM. So simply go and tap on it and swipe to confirm flash. So this process may take a bit of time so make sure you stay with patience, go get some coffee and once the process is done you can get back and boot your device. So what you are looking is a fast forward of the same thing. So don't panic that my device is running fast. So once you're done with that, you can simply tap on reboot system and that will reboot your device into the AOSP. So the first boot may take a lot of time, so make sure you stay with patience. So once it's done, we'll be back. So there you go guys, you're greeted by the Google and let's just quickly set up this device. So once it's done, we are then into the AOSP ROM. And there you go guys, the AOSP extended. It is almost similar to the stock ROM. And here by heading to the developer options, let's go and enable the USB debugging. So once you are done, you can simply go back and restart your device into the recovery mode. So I'm just gonna click the restart button and select the recovery and OK. And this should boot up your device into PWRP mode. So once you are here into the TWRP mode, simply go and click on the install and right here you need to select up the gapps and swipe to confirm flash. This will flash up the gapps onto your device and it will enable the play store. So once you are done with the flashing, you are then ready to go and use the AOS extended without any further barriers. And here you go guys, the AOSP extended with a lot of features to try out and a lot of lot of customizations to deal with. 
and Android 7.1.1 Nougat running on top of it. It's buttery smooth and it is having Volti pre enabled. That's cool, right? So that's it for this video guys, if you found this video helpful then please drop a like and if you have any queries then you can comment down in the comment section below. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed to our channel then please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And you can click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. You can explore to the Tech Freaks channel to watch more and more tech videos like this.